Hi everybody. So today I'm going to show you how to create your very own Oscar the Grouch and I really do hope that you like him. I do have him in a can, in a can, a tomato can. This was a tomato can. Um, if you are going to do the exact same thing as me, you just want to be very careful which kind of can opener that you use so you don't end up getting cut. Now, he is fully, from head to toe, he is covered with wrapped bands. So I used the wrap bands while I was actually crocheting. I just want to give a special thank you to Jill um, from Facebook who did my Cookie Monster completely with wrapped bands and I thought it was brilliant. So I want to say thank you. And that gave me the idea to give the look for the, the Oscar the Grouch. Now I tried to do him without the wrapped bands originally and he just looks like a green Kermit. So that didn't work out. But if you want to prove me wrong, go ahead. I'd love to see that he can be pulled off without the rubber bands, uh, wrapped bands. Now he is the exact same pattern as Kermit the Frog. He will turn out bigger um, with the wrapped bands, but I didn't alter the pattern. I just kind of kept it the same. So it's the exact same pattern, legs and arms, sorry, reverse, arms and legs, body, head, everything is the same except I am changing the mouth. The mouth I added a tongue this time. So that's up to you if you like to use this one. That will be the first thing that we do in this video is creating the mouth. I am gonna use a neon green because quite frankly, black is kind of hard to see. So in the video, I'm using neon green and red. I will be doing the eyes after the mouth, then attaching, then creating the eyebrows, and then we will at 39 minutes, you can fast forward to the video. I'm gonna show you how to create one arm. Just a little grabbing trick to grab the wrapped bands if you are unfamiliar with doing it. And I found by grabbing the loops all at once, it just kind of went really, really fast. So you can fast forward to about 39 minutes and I will be making one arm with you. The rest will just follow just as easily. You're gonna create the exact same body and grabbing the wrapped bands. If at any point in time you have any questions, please don't hesitate to ask. All the links are down below in the description box, and these are the supplies that I'm going to be using. Green, black, red, white, cocoa brown for the eyebrows here, and uh, I'm going to get started, and I really, really do hope you enjoy. I'm going to try to do the mouth. And so many people have asked me to try to create a little tongue, and that's what I tried to do. So you could either make this all black, or you can follow me and do this with the red. If you are going to do it in a solid color, then I suggest using the mouth from part two of the Muppets that I did for the Kermit the Frog and, you know, Elmo and Cookie Monster. And that will show you how to do one solid color. I'm using the two colors, so I'll be doing slip stitches when I change the color. And then it's going to end up looking like this. So up to you. Now I'm going to use green color. You'd want to use the black. The black doesn't show very well and it's hard to film. So I'm going to be using the green color. What I'm going to do first is six single crochets in the magic ring. And just so you know, for the mouth part, I will be using the red. I'm going to do six single crochets in the magic ring. So I'm going to take my first band, which should be your black, and wrap it around my peg three times. One, two, and three. Now I'm going to pull six bands through, one at a time. Reaching in, bring your band through, end on your hook, and your top loop over. Bring it to the side, and go back in, Bring your second band through, end on your hook, and now you're just bringing the top two loops over and bring it to the side. And you're going to want to continue like that. Band through, end on your hook, and top two loops over. And continue. You want to remove off the loom, move your bands around, and attach your stitch marker to the loop that's around your hook. You should have six stitches. 
are six chains. One, two, three, four, five, and six is on your hook. For round two, I'm using the green again. You should be using the black. I'm gonna increase on each chain around. So I have six chains here and I have 12 bands here. Each chain, you're adding two bands. So two, 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 and two. I'm gonna do three increases with my green, which should be your black, and then three increases with the red. And at the end of round two, you will have your 12 stitches. When I change color, I'm gonna do a slip stitch. So starting with our first chain, we're gonna do our increase by going in, and you're just bringing two bands through, one at a time. Back in that same chain, So that was our first increase. Go to your next stitch and do another. Back in. Now I'm at the third stitch. Increase. Back in. So now I have three chains left. One, two, three, three sections left. We're gonna change color to the red. So I'm gonna bring my band through all the loops that are on my hook. You don't wanna to pull too hard, just very lightly. Go back in that same chain and single crochet. Next stitch, you want to repeat. And the last chain. Right now you should have 12 stitches. I just want to review the stitches with you. One, two, three, four, five, and six. When you start the red, this little one is your slip stitch, so you're not counting that. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. Remove your stitch marker and add it to the band that's around your hook. For round three, I'm going to do a single crochet followed by an increase. Single crochet followed by an increase and you should be using your black color. For the mouth area, you'll have reached the red and you'll just be repeating. So this pattern you're going to do six times and at the end of round three you're going to have 18 stitches. I'm going to go slowly because I don't want you to go on your little slip knot here. When you start, you're starting with a new color so you want to start off with a slip stitch. Go in your first chain and bring it through all of the loops, so not where it's getting pulled. Bring your band through and slide, don't pull. Chain two is your increase, so two bands in that one chain, back in. And you're repeating one, two. Next chain. And repeat again. Back in. Now you're at the red color. Don't go in your little slip knot. You want to go in your first chain and do a single crochet. You're changing color, so bring it through all of the loops. Next chain is your increase. You can continue until you get to your stitch marker.
I have two sections left, or two chains left, and two sections. And the last stitch. Back in. So right now you have 18 stitches. I'm going to review them. Don't count the little slip knot. So this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Then the red. Don't count your little slip knot. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, and 18. So on your black you should have 9 stitches. On your red you should have 9 stitches. Remove your stitch marker and add it to the band that's around your hook. For round four, you should be using all black for your color bands. What we're going to do is, don't worry about this part right now, we're going to do this part. Two single crochets followed by an increase, two single crochets followed by an increase, and repeating that three times. You will be in your black color bands. When you get to this part, you'll have reached your red, and we're gonna grab the outside loops only, and I'm gonna show you how to grab, because it will make a difference. So let's do this part first. I'm gonna go in my first chain, not the little slip knot, and I'm gonna start off with a slip stitch. Bring it through all the loops, grab your end, and slide. Do another single crochet in the next chain, and then an increase. Back in. Repeat, one, one, two. and repeat one more time. Now I'm gonna start and do the exact same thing in the red, but what I'm gonna do is, we usually go through here, through each chain. What I'm going to do is go from the back. So I'm going to grab not this way. I'm going to grab from the back and just grab the back loop only. And I'm going to repeat the pattern all the way to my stitch marker. So don't grab your little slip knot. Instead of going this way, you're going to go from the back and grab the back loop only. And your first one is a single crochet. Again, from the back, so tip, from the back, up, single crochet. Follow the pattern until you get to your stitch marker. You're doing an increase in this third chain here of the red. So right now you have 24 stitches. Remove your stitch marker and add it to the band that's around your hook.
For round five, you should still be using black. This is our last round, so our last band, we're gonna do a slip knot to tie it closed. Then I'm gonna show you how to fold in half, and I want you to mark the stitch that you're gonna start when you sew the head. So you're gonna need a stitch marker. I would suggest using a stitch marker um, just so you don't end up sewing it on the mouth and it ends up going crooked. So for round five, what I'm gonna do is four single crochets followed by an increase. Four single crochets followed by an increase and I'm gonna repeat that four times. Then you're gonna end with four single crochets and last band slip knot to tie it closed. At the end of this round, you'll have 28 stitches and it's very important that you make sure that you have 28 stitches when you're done. So I'm gonna get started, four single crochets in my first four chains. Don't start in the slip knot, go in your first chain. Now my fifth chain is my increase, two bands, one at a time. I have four chains left, one, two, three, and four. Four bands left, last band slip knot. Last band, bring it through all the loops and tie it off. Now you can remove your stitch marker for a second Put it down and you want to make sure that you have 28 stitches. So I'm just going to count the stitches beside the slip knot. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, and 28 beside the slip knot. Now turn your slip knot to the side and you're looking right here at the red. You want to make sure that that's even, not to the side, make sure it's even. And you can see your magic circle here. Fold this in half and press down. Now you've got that crease and you're going to notice that in my um, the tutorial when you're going to make the head, um, I can't really remember, I think you're starting about here, right at the slip knot. What you want to do to sew this head on, or to sew this mouth to the head, you're going to start at this chain. So not at the one beside your slip knot. When you sew it to the actual head, right in the corner, you're going to want to start at this little outside loop only. So what you're going to do is put a stitch marker so you'll be reminded of where you're going to start. Otherwise, the mouth is going to end up sewing crooked because as you're doing rounds, it starts to turn. So that's where you want to start.
Round one of the eye, I'm going to show you to do one, and then you're going to pause the video and make yourself another. There's two rounds to this, and I'm going to start off with the black color. We're going to do five single crochets in the magic ring. So taking my first band, I'm going to wrap it around the bottom peg three times. One, two, and three. Now you're going to pull five bands through, one at a time. Reaching in, bringing your first band through, and end on your hook. Top loop over. Bring it to the side, and go back in for your second. Bring it through, end on your hook, and now you're bringing the top two loops over. Bring it to the side. And continue. Remove it off the loom, move your bands around, and you should have five stitches. Attach your stitch marker to the loop that's around your hook. For round two, I'm going to increase on each chain around. So I'm switching to the white color, and I'm going to add two bands to each chain all the way to my stitch marker. So two, 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 and two. At the end of round two, you're gonna have 10 stitches. We are gonna close it off with an extra band in our first chain. So we'll have a complete round. So I'm gonna go in my first chain and I'm gonna add two bands, but my first one is gonna be a slip stitch because I'm changing color. So your first band, you're gonna bring through all the loops Grab the end and slide, don't pull. Go back in that same chain to add your second band. Now go into the next chain and increase again and you're going to continue until you get to your stitch marker. In. So right now you have 10 stitches. You can remove your stitch marker and then we'll close it off. So move your bands around so it's nice and even and you're going to use an extra band but you're going to go in your chain. Don't go in your slip knot so the chain of your white and do a slip knot to tie it closed. So bring it through all the loops, grab the end and pull. So this is what you should have. I'm turning this around because my stitches are nicer on this side, not this side. So I'm just turning it around to this side. And that's how we're going to, what we're going to use. And I'm going to show you how to attach it. Now what we're going to do is fix the head up right in this area. This design, I've given a point. There's many reasons why this has a point. But for Oscar, his head is flatter. I could have done, I could have did more rounds to give it a, a different kind of look. But no matter how I tried, it didn't work out for me. And I kind of wanted to keep it the same pattern. Now, if I gave it more rounds, then it kind of would have had a bulk in the back here. So what I'm going to do in order to make this more flat right here, I'm going to use a green band. And this stopped um, from using a lot of extra bands by doing uh, a different kind of shape right at the top. In the end result, we're using less bands. So what I did was, for where the magic circle is, 
I'm gonna push it down. Like you can leave it like this if you prefer, but I'm gonna just kind of push it down with a single band so it has more of a flatter shape at the top. So what I'm gonna do is push it down where the magic ring is and I'm at the back. I'm gonna push it down and I'm gonna go through the stitches of the back of the head, just like a couple of them. I'm going through maybe three or four and with my hook I'm coming out of the magic ring right at the center top. And I'm gonna take a single band, give it a pull and a slip knot to secure it. So I'm just bringing it through, grabbing my end and tying it off and pushing the center down just to give it a flatter look. Now your body might be on already, which it doesn't matter if that the body's on or not. I will be showing you how to do the eyes with just the head. Now we're going to attach the eyes and I am going to use four bands on each eye and I'm using a guiding band, so an extra band which you can use after. Let me change it up to a, a neon green here. I'm just going to find the center. So your eyes, you want to imagine they're going to be on this side. I want to find the center, a center band, just to have a placement. So I just want it kind of in the center. So I'm just imagining where the eyes will go and I am going to use this band here. So this is just kind of in the center and I'm going to be sewing or attaching the eyes just with two little slip knots on either side. So if I'm going to take my first one, I'm going to put my eye to the side here, my slip knot to the side. So I'm going to have it like this. And I'm going to grab an inside loop on each side of the eye and do a slip knot with a green band. Where I start is where my center guiding band is. So what I'm going to do is put this flat and kind of give it like a little squeeze. So I'm going to use this stitch, but just the outside loop is what I'm going to be grabbing. So I didn't grab my chain. I grabbed the one that's facing the back here. And I'm going to do a slip knot in this band right here where my guiding band is. I'm using the green band, the same color as the body, and I'm just doing a slip knot. Now I'm going to put it flat and I'm kind of squeezing the eye like this. And I'm going to grab the outside loop the one furthest away from you, the one that's beside the head, and I'm gonna grab a chain so I'm not pulling the eye because then you'll start to see your white band being pulled. Keep it flat, and I'm just gonna grab a chain on the head, and I'm gonna do a slip knot. Now, you don't wanna grab that um, wrapped band. So just a chain, and you're gonna do a slip knot with the other green band. and then squeeze the eye like that. The other eye is the exact same thing, what we just did here. So where your guiding band is, or the center stitch, is where you're gonna grab. And I'm putting my slip knot to the side, to the outside there, the other side. And I'm gonna grab that chain again in the center, and I'm grabbing the loop that's facing the head. So I didn't grab the top and you want to do a slip knot with a single band. Bring it through all the loops, grab the end, and tie it off. Don't grab the stuffing like I did. Now put it flat down, give it a squeeze, and I'm going to grab the loop that's facing the head, so I didn't grab the top one, the bottom one, and again, you don't want the band being pulled, you want it flat. And you wanna grab the chain, not the wrapped bands. I grab the wrapped bands again, move them out of the way, and do a slip knot. Good. 
and give it a squeeze. Now if the eye is turning down, then you just want to move your slip knot with the green and grab the next one. Now my eye is going down, so I am going to remove that band and then just grab the next stitch over. So I'm just going to grab the next stitch over and making sure that I'm even kind of with this side and slip knot. I'm going to move my guiding band here out of the way and I'm just going to make sure that everything's even with the mouse and I'm going to hide my slip bands, my slip knots. So for the eyes, I'm not going to go this way, I'm going to go under the eye, through the head and come out and grab the white and just bring it through just to hide it. And I'm going to do the white on the other side. So I'm going through the head and just bringing it through. Now the same thing for these bands here. You can go through the head and then just come out and bring the slip knots through to hide them. If your white bands are showing, you can kind of bring the green band down and kind of just hide your slip knot. Are those white bands there that are being pulled if they are? And then I'm just going to hide this little white band a little bit better. And next we'll do the eyebrows. Now to do the eyebrows, we need some wrapped bands around our hook. We need 18 bands, so I have doubles here. Three, six, and nine. And total is 18. What you're going to do is take each band and wrap them around your hook twice and just keep pushing them up. So I have 18 bands. You wanna make sure you have 18 bands wrapped around your hook twice. And you can just push up. These bands we're gonna be sliding as we're going. For the eyebrows, I did nine stitches, which I'll get to in a second, but you're just taking your 18 bands and wrapping it around your hook twice. Just keep pushing. You don't want to overlap because it'll just make your it a little bit harder when you're doing you're sliding them off. So just try your best. So I'll show you how to grab these easily. You're just gonna take this part slowly. So you can leave this for a second. For the eyebrows, I'm gonna do four single crochets on each side of the eye. So this is one eye. And I'm gonna do one in the center. And then I'm gonna go around with the other eye. So our pattern is gonna look like this. So you wanna take the head here and you're gonna slowly look at, find four stitches around the eye. The center will be the stitch in the center and then four stitches around the other eye. So you're going in this kind of a shape. So I'm gonna start on this side, right above the eye. I don't wanna pull my bands here, so I'm gonna kinda of leave like an area around the eye and just kinda of go above that. 
So if I give one little tug, I need to find four stitches. So this would be one, two, three, and four would be in here. Now, I only have about three, so I'm just gonna move down. You just wanna have four stitches in total around the eye and the fifth in the center. So I'm starting about here, and I'm gonna start here, and I'm gonna do a single crochet. Bring your band through, and slide. Now you're gonna take two of these bands and slide them on that chain. So very carefully, you're gonna take one, and then find your second band. So this is two. So I just slid two bands here, so there's four loops. Now I'm kind of supporting these with my hand here, my thumb. Go to the next stitch over, so give it a tug if you can't see, and go to the next stitch over. So I'm going to go here and I'm trying to go in like an area, a row. This will be my next stitch and I'm just going to repeat single crochet and slide two bands on. So very slowly, I'm going to do this slowly. So I'm just taking one end to find the other end and repeating. So you're sliding four loops total and I lost my band. Give me a second, I gotta put these back on. I'm gonna grab my loop and slide four loops on, total of two bands. Now I'm gonna do this again, finding my third stitch. Single crochet and then slide two bands on. fourth stitch and slide two bands on. Now your fifth you want down in between the eyes. Let's see. I'm in a wrapped band you want to grab just the chains on the head. And that's the center band here. And you're just repeating. Now you're going to do the same thing, four stitches around the eye. You want to make sure that you're even with this side. So if your last stitch is up here, you want to make sure that you're at the same kind of area. I just want to make sure that I'm at the same kind of area. And one more. I want to be the same with this one. So I'm just going to put it down and then just kind of make sure and slide my last two bands on. And now what I'm going to do is go back kind of in that same stitch. I'm just kind of going backwards now and I'm just going to do a slip knot and I'm going to use a green band. So you just want to use a green band and do a slip knot to tie it closed. And then you can just kind of bring that band through to hide it. 
or check your placements first just to make sure and then you can hide it. And then I'm just kind of fixing these up and I'm going to have to hide this little slip knot just a little bit better. Fix the eyes up, push the head down, and squeeze the eyes. And he's done. So now I'm gonna teach you how to create the arm using wrapped bands. If you've never done this before, then this part is what you'd wanna watch. If you've done my magic flower, we do use wrapped bands. And if you've done my lion tutorial, we used wrapped bands. So I'm gonna take this part slowly for those that don't know how to do this part. So I'm just gonna show you how to do an arm and then the rest of the body and the head will be the exact same technique, the same exact thing. I'm gonna start you off with five single crochets in the magic ring. So I have five bands right here, and I have five bands right here. These are my wrapped bands. When you're done this round, this is what it should look like. So I'm gonna be doing this part slowly. So you're gonna need your hook. You're gonna take your first band, and wrap it around the bottom peg three times. So this is exactly how I create the magic flower, the magic ring flower that I have on my channel. We're gonna wrap it three times. One, two, and three. Now you're gonna pull one band through. So let's do one, reach in, grab your first band and bring it through, end on your hook, and the top loop over. You wanna bring it to the side Kind of give it a pull, but not like a, like a stretch to kind of close it, but you can release it. Take a single band and wrap it around your hook twice. So one and two. And slide this onto that band. Now you're going to reach back in, holding your little wrapped band down. Reach in and grab your second band to bring through. On, end on your hook and bring the top two loops over. You want to bring it to the side and give it a small tug and release. Keep an eye on that band because if it does open you'll want to grab it again or if it does unravel. Take your band and wrap it around twice. Grab your band and slide your wrapped band on. Hold it down, reach back in, grab your band and bring it through, end on your hook and bring the top two loops over. For this part, you could have wrapped all your bands around, but I just kind of want to show you how you're, it's supposed to be and how it's supposed to look. So give it a small tug, release, keep an eye on that, and wrap a band around your hook twice. Grab your end and slide it on. Go back in for your fourth band. Bring it through and the same thing. Top two loops over. Make sure you're bringing it to the side. It kind of gives it a little bit of a more of a support and give it a tug. Release and keep an eye on that band. Single band, wrap twice. So you have two loops. Grab your band and slide. Go back in, grab your band, bring through and top two loops over. The hard part is just the magic ring. Bring it to the side and release. And your last band. 
after this, once you get the, down with the first couple of rows, it becomes a lot easier. Now you can attach your stitch marker to that loop that's around your hook and remove off the loom. I'm going to put my stitch marker to that side. Move your bands around and you'll see you have five stitches which we will go through on the next round if you used five bands. Now for round two, we need to increase to 10 stitches. So I'm going to do two single crochets in each chain. Each single crochet that I do, I need a wrapped band. So I have 10 bands here because we're doing 10 stitches. So I have 10 bands, 2, 4, 6, 8, and 10. Each time I do a single crochet, I'm going to wrap a band. But what we have to do first is find our stitches and you're going to see your stitch if you pull your little wrapped band, there's your first stitch. You're going to go in, try to move your wrapped bands out of the way, and you're going to do a wrapped band first around your hook, so you want to move your magic ring up and wrap a band. This part might be tricky to handle. Bring your band your first single crochet in that chain through all the stitches. So all you're going to do is grab all these bands here except this last one and single crochet. Grab the end and slide. You're going to go back in that same chain to repeat by going in, wrapped band twice, grab your stitch band, Grab all these bands, not the last one, and bring your band through. Grab your end and slide. Now you're going to your next chain over, so kind of open it up so you can see your next stitch. Go to your next stitch, and you're just repeating. So you're going through, wrapped band, twice, bring your first stitch through that chain. So you're grabbing all of these stitches with your fingers, not this last one. Grab the end and slide. Back in that same chain for your next stitch. Okay, but you have to do your wrap band first, sorry. One and two. Bring your band through the stitch. So I'm just doing, I had done two single crochets in that one chain. So if you see, I have three stitches left. One, two, and three where my stitch marker is. You're just repeating. So I'm gonna move my wrap bands out of the way, go in my next chain over, and wrap twice. Bring your band through. You're gonna go back in that same stitch to do another. So wrap bands always first. So I have two stitches left. Go in, take your wrap band first, and your first stitch here, and slide. Go back in, wrap band first, bring your band through. So you're just pinching all of these loops to bring your band through and grab your end and slide. I'm at the last stitch. Back in. Wrap band first. Now throughout this design, I did have to count uh, my rows a couple of times, like on my stitches, to make sure that I had enough stitches. Um, because I found that I was daydreaming a lot while doing it. So just make sure that you have the right amount of stitches, especially on the head where you do the mouse. So you should have 10 stitches. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10 is on your hook. You can remove your stitch marker and add it to that band. Now 
For round three, we're going to do 10 single crochets. So I have 10 bands. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. For each single crochet around, you're adding a wrapped band, which will be done first. So I have 10 bands here. So you want to go in your first chain. And now it's starting to get easier because your chains are more visible. Wrap band always twice on your hook. So you have two loops and single crochet. Pinch your bands, grab your end, and slide. Next stitch, same thing. Wrapped band, bring your band through all those four little loops, and slide. All the way around until you get to the stitch marker. next stitch. Make sure you don't get caught in your little loops and it's very easy if it's or easier if you just push your piece up and then bring it down. Let me wrap first. I have two chains left, two spots left. Pinch. So you should have 10 stitches left. Remove your stitch marker and add it to the band that's around your hook. Now for round four, we're gonna decrease to seven stitches. So I'm gonna do a single crochet followed by a decrease. Single crochet followed by a decrease. Single crochet followed by a decrease. Now for this guy, in the Muppets, the other guys, I tell you to do an invisible decrease. So it's where I add an extra band. For him, because he's so big and he has wrapped bands, I don't think that you need to do that. You can just stitch your stitches together. You can stitch the two stitches together or you can do Nancy's decrease, where it's basically taking the inside loop of one stitch and the outside loop of the other stitch. And that's exactly how I made him throughout. It turned out well because it gets covered up very easily with all the wrapped bands. So that's entirely up to you how you want to do it. If you are doing the slip stitches or the invisible decrease, you're just going to do bring your hook through, wrap a band, slide your band, keep it on your hook, and repeat for the next stitch. It's up to you. So I am going to show you how to decrease by grabbing the inside loop and the outside loop of Nancy from Facebook. That's her little technique that she's taught me. So what I'm going to do is single crochet followed by a decrease. Single crochet followed by a decrease. I'm repeating that part three times and ending with a single crochet. So I have seven bands here. At the end of round four, you're going to have seven stitches. So I have seven wrapped bands here ready. So I'm going to go in my first chain, and that's just my single crochet, so a wrap band twice. Bring your band through. Now this is my decrease, so I'm going to take my inside loop of my first stitch, outside loop of the second stitch, or you can stitch your two stitches together. I did the invisible decrease for the other ones because it gives it a rounder, fuller look and it just kind of warped it when I did this kind of stitches for the other Muppets. So now I'm going to wrap my band and bring my band through. So 
So right now I'm bringing it through the four little loops and that was my decrease. You want to make sure that you're going to the next stitch over. Which is just a single crochet. Now is the decrease. So I'm going to go inside loop, outside loop of the next chain. And the next chain. Decrease, inside loop, outside loop. And the last chain. Oop. Now, for the arms and for the legs, I didn't use any stuffing inside. I didn't, there's nothing in here. That I'll leave up to you. I didn't fill it because it gets so full easily. And why not save some stuffing at this point? <laughs> so you should have seven stitches. For rounds five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and eleven, you're doing eleven single, uh, sorry, seven single crochets. So one band in each chain. So you have seven stitches. You should end with seven stitches for each row. Each pile here, I have seven bands. You're going to attach your wrapped band first before you bring your stitch through. I'm going to do the first couple of rounds with you and then you're going to pause the video and you can come back to me. Your last band, you'll be doing a slip knot to tie it closed and then adding two sewing bands so you can attach it to the body when you're ready. So I'm going to get started. I'm going to go in my first band, not where it's getting pulled. I'm going to go in my first chain, not where it's getting pulled. Wrap band first, pinch the first four bands, and slide. So you should still have seven stitches. You could add a new stitch marker, which I'd probably recommend so you can make sure that you have enough rounds completed. So I'm gonna start off with round six here, not going in my first chain, not where it's getting pulled, or not where your stitch markers are. And you're gonna go around again, the same thing. You will notice that you will get faster at doing this.
Now I have my stitch markers um, not in front of me. So I'm just going to steal one and add it to the band that's around my hook. And continue with round seven. I'm going to do this round with you. So not where it's getting pulled, your next stitch over. And you're just repeating. I don't know if I have an extra band here. I'll probably just count in a second. If I skipped a stitch. So I'm just gonna count to make sure, one, two, three, four, five, and six, and I did skip a stitch. So this is a good way to show you to unravel if you did. You just can pull the little wrapped bands. Um, your bands might go flying, so this is a good way to show you. So I'm just gonna pull at the little wrapped bands, and I skipped a stitch, so I'm gonna have to figure out why. So there's my little stitch that was hiding. So I'm going to start again. I just want to count my stitches. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven is on my hook. You can use another stitch marker, attach it to the band that's around your hook, pause the video, and come back to me. I'll come back for the last band to do a slip knot with you. So I'm at the last stitch and I'm going to do a slip knot. So this band I'm going to bring through all of the loops that are on my hook. So I'm going to go in, wrap band and then bring my last band to tie it off through all of the loops. That's five little loops that were on your hook. Grab the end and tie it off. Now you can remove your stitch marker and you wanna add two sewing bands. So you're gonna bring your slip knot to the side and we need to have two sewing bands evenly. So I need one in the center and one at the side. So you wanna just pick that. So I'm gonna go through the center stitches and this is just to help you to attach the arm um, to the body. So I'm going to go through and I want to make sure that this band is even with this side. I don't have enough room so I'm just going to grab one little chain at the side here just to attach a sewing band. And slip knot. So everything else is exactly the same as doing the arm the legs, the body, and the head. Once you get a couple down, it becomes a lot easier and it's not so difficult. So here you go. And if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to ask. I'm more than happy to help out. Thanks for watching.